message. We have visited with him, and he's here most of the time. Every time I come up here, he's here. He's been uh, uh, taking up his most of his days answering questions and, and sending out information to all to the board members that are requesting it on a daily basis. We got a stack of paperwork like this that we've been getting in the mail uh, from uh, continual, continual uh, asking for information, which is good, but also that make sure that that he's answering it and his and his secretary, what he ever is answering. So there's a lot of things that are going on. I think that that when you start looking at Highlands University right down the right down the road from us, it has one vice president, and that's a vice president for instruction, and everybody else are directors. I think we need to look at that. I don't want to hire somebody in as vice president or post the position and put somebody in as an interim and then have that person get the job because they're interim. That's not the appropriate thing for us to do if we're going to be transparent at this college and that's what I'm trying to do is be transparent. And there's a lot of things being said about being transparent and, and being in the public and I've been in the public eye a lot uh, <coughs> with, with uh, with, with what's being said with a lot of things, but I'm going to stick to my guns as to what I, I believe. I sat at my, at my father's uh, uh, deathbed this last week, and I'm sorry to bring that up that way, but I looked at him and I thought, you know, he's always done what's right, and I'm going to do what's right. I'm going to do what's right for you and, and, and our community and those students that we serve, and I'm not going to play a political game with anybody where this college. There's two things I love in this, in this community. That's my family and this school. And that's why I kept running. I've run for three I terms. And and I've been elected three terms because that's what I do. I think Chairman Montoya, yes, Montoya, we all have family members here. I, I mean, we're, we're, we're all family oriented. And, and uh, again, I'm sorry to hear about you, you know, your father. I appreciate it. But, uh, but I, I think, I, you, you know, what you're, what you're saying, I mean, uh, and, and, and doing are two different things. I mean, uh, we have a nepotism. We have a nepotism policy, and I asked the president at the last meeting how many, how many people was that a, was was affected by that, and uh, I don't know. I, I still he, he didn't. He was supposed to provide me with that information today, but I think I, I think there there is some some conflict there, and, and uh, I know I know talking to other board members that that, that this has been an issue, and. and uh, you know, I think I think what you're saying and doing are two different things. I, I hate to say it. I know, appreciate, so, I appreciate so, that. So I think I think wait, I'm not done yet. Okay. I, think, I, I think there's a lot of issues. So you you, you know, we we discuss things and <laughs> and, and uh, for you to come out and say that that <laughs> that that you feel now that, that that this 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 position isn't a, isn't a vital position. I mean, without students, where do we get our money? I'm not saying it's not vital. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, and, and okay, and, and I guess my side point is you're saying we have a, 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 a vice president who was in charge of recruiting the students, who was in charge of recruiting the students this last this last year. Who was in charge of recruiting the students? Mr. Chairman, members of the trustees, we have uh, the responsibility for all of us to be involved to continue to recruit students, but we do have a admissions and recruitment center so we do have individuals that uh, do go out on a regular basis uh, in order to go ahead and do that. I guess who does that fall under, uh, direct supervisor, who would that fall under there, President? Um, Mr. Chairman, uh, Trustee Romano, that would be, of course, uh, through the President under the uh, Vice President for Academics. Okay, and do you think that, that their duties were fulfilled this, this last year? Mr. Chairman, as we move forward, uh, I believe that they have been because they're out there. So, so did we go out and recruit at Robertson High School in West Las Vegas? We have juniors and seniors that have class schedules made for this coming year, and I went out to the school personally, and I was told that no representatives from Lula Community College were there. So you're telling me that you feel that we were well represented? Mr. Chairman, Trustee Romero, will we continue to recruit at all? No, no, no. I, I asked a question. Mr. Chairman, Trustee Romero, yes, I believe that we have done a good job of recruiting. Yeah, right. We, we, we got students at Robertson and West Las Vegas that, that did not hear nothing from Lula Community College. If you call out well represent, re represented, I, I, I fear to differ with you, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. Mr. Uh, Chairman, can you ask me something? Sure. Yeah, thank you. Uh, this is a great opportunity that you give me, uh, Mr. Romero. Uh, I'm asking the Attorney General, I have called the Attorney General's office uh, to ask for an opinion on nepotism. Uh, 
and what I need to do is get a local uh, a representative or senator from the area to ask for that request. I can't do it myself. And I'm going to take that upon myself. On the nepotism issue, my wife Luella Marmontoya has worked, worked here for over 30, 32 years, I think it was, and uh, still teaches uh, courses up here. Uh, and, and help students get into the programs. Taught a program which was the, for 24 years I think it was, uh, which was the uh, Prep Tech Summer Program that brought in about 50 to 60 kids every summer. And she continues. She has a, com a continued uh, affiliation and, and love for this college too. Like everybody that's been here. A lot of employ a lot of people that come here, they love this school. People that retire, people that have been working here as administration. They want to make sure that this college moves forward. I have a daughter that works here that came here seven years ago, and under that term, uh, when, when she did come in, uh, I made the presentation, and the way she was, she was interviewed or called up was by, by President uh, Senna at that time, who told me that he, that he was impressed with her, and it was a job open. She applied. She was the best qualified. There was two people that applied for it. She was the best qualified. I made that presentation to the board and told them she was my daughter, and at that time there was no nepotism rule. I stood up, walked out of the room, and gave the opportunity to the board at that time to either hire her or not. My daughter has made a 2% pay raise since she's been here. Uh, if anything, if as a board member, as qualified as I am as many years as I've been here, she should probably be making a lot more money, and, we, and I should probably be the vice president for, for instruction or, or Vice President for Student Services that I should be pushing for, but I have not used that that kind of leverage or any any kind of political. I haven't asked anybody on this board for anything, matter of fact, other than to vote for me to be the chairman of the board. But that's where I'm at, and that's that's the clarity of what it is. Chair, Chair and, Troy, I, yes. I, I don't think I, you, you, you know you're saying nepotism. I think you know we you, you know you said you said a few things on there. I mean we had another board member that that had, that had a. Uh, one, one of their one, one of their child applied for, for a position and, and was well well I mean he, he, he was one of the top candidates yeah and and uh, and I'm just saying I, I mean we need to be fair, fair across the board and, and and my understanding was that this individual was was uh, told that he that he was denied because of the nepotism law and I guess you know again I mean I feel that 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 the statement that you're making is that your family is more important than anybody else's family, and I, I fear to differ with that. I think I think that that I mean I, I mean that you want the best for your children, which is great. That, but but uh, you, you know I, I mean we we need to be, be fair across the board. I mean I mean so. Uh, Trustee Romero, you're looking at 30, 34 years back where my wife was hired, and seven years back when my daughter was hired. No, I'm not okay. Well, your your wife. Your, your wife separated with Luna Community College. Well, I can't tell you what year. Well, she she had a separation yeah. with Luna Community College. So then, so 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 then, when, when you separate from somewhere, you lose you. That, that's a separation, correct? In you, some in some. In, well, there, I, I, I mean, there, there, we, there's, we, policies, right, there's, there's policies. Right. There's policies. Exactly. There's if, policies. If any any employee so, here can retire today if they're qualified to retire, stay out one year and come back. I mean that even in the state government. But we're, we're you know, talking double dipping. We're talking yeah, exactly right. Double dipping. We're talking nepotism, right? We're talking, or we're just talking. I mean, you you were saying nepotism. Okay. You said nepotism right. that my that, that that my wife and, and my child. I didn't say wife. I just said you there said was some family members. Did I clarify there, there, that? Okay, right. Okay. There, there there was some nepotism. Now the other question you just asked me was, can you can you separate and come back? Right. Yes, you can. Uh, yes, you can. Even if, you're, even if you have a, 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 a soul. Oh, I see what you mean. I, I see what you mean. Right. Right. As a board member, yeah. you can come yeah. back and you say, yeah. but that's not affecting nepotism. That's what I'm saying. No, I, 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 excuse me. I, I understand what you're saying. Uh, and, and this has gone on several years because my wife has been a continued employee here, teaching classes one hour or whatever, or the summer programs. She continues to, and does not is not affected by a nepotism rule. Okay, so that's not. So she doesn't sign the contract every year. Yeah. Uh, uh, 
Mr. Chairman, okay, going back to, to the enrollment, uh, Mr. President, why was the decrease so much? Would you? Uh, Mr. Chairman, and uh, as we move forward, Trustee Medina, in terms of student enrollment across the board uh, within uh, the demographics of this area, we continue to see a loss in student population and adult population. So within that, uh, when it comes to our full-time equivalents, the students, uh, the adult students that are enrolling here, as well as those to concurrent enrollment, uh, one of the primary reasons is because of a drop in uh, population within this service area. Thank you, sir.